Hi everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Katrina. And welcome to our channel. Our Everyday Getaway. This is our introductory video when we like to introduce ourselves. Katrina and I are both from Maryland. We were born and raised in Maryland. And Katrina and I both, we raised four kids. And... Uh, I was in a florist for the last 20 years. And in September of 2020, mm -hmm. I retired after 35 years of working in the construction industry. Shortly after that, I had a health issue and a health scare, which caused us to reevaluate things. Yes, yes. reevaluate yes. things and look at things differently. Prior to that, Katrina and I have been part time RVers. And to use the word part time, that's putting it lightly. Yes. In 2018, Katrina and I bought an RV. Okay. A we, used, a used, uh, a hurricane. Uh, 2016 Thor hurricane. Thor hurricane 29M. Yes. Which yes. was fantastic. We had, it was great. We had Loved some it. really awesome. good. But awesome. over the course of those three years, from 2018 to, to 2021, we used it maybe a total of 11 weeks. Well, some of that wasn't our fault. Yeah. So we used it over the uh, maybe 11 weeks. But during that time, as I got closer to retirement, I had talked to Katrina about possibly full-time RV. And I was not really receptive to that. Yeah, we we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to meet some full-time RVers who were awesome people, great people. They inspired me, they inspired us. And I wanted to Chris become- Chris was very inspired. Yeah, I wanted to become a full-time RVer after I retired. But I knew I could not do it without her consent. Right. After the health scare and COVID, Things changed. We, we rethought the whole thing and we came up with, you know what? Life's too short. Let's do it. Life's too short, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So we knew we had to make some changes. So what did you do? Oh, I sold my business. Yeah. She yeah. decided to I sold my business. And, well, you didn't sell it. You well, that's true. I didn't sell it. I was going to sell it, but you know what? That was taking too long. So I just shut it down and we decided we're going to hit the road full time. We're gonna do this. So we put the house on the market. Within a couple months, we were done with that. And it sold. We were, we were lucky enough and fortunate enough that we were pretty much empty nesters. So we could go ahead, and we no longer needed the house anyway. We put it on the market, and it went through a lot quicker, faster than we anticipated. So much so, it forced us to live full time in our piece, RV. On a piece of property down the road, which was wonderful and it served the purpose very well. So what happened was we made plans to go on vacation. Right? We we had to live in the RV full time. Yes. During the course of that time, we had to also organize and get a few things ready. We had, we, we couldn't get on the road until I finished a certain amount of appointments, which took into the spring and summer. Yes. So we sure. planned a six week trip in the fall and we were going to go on us on this trip come back to maryland and then go back full timing right after we came back to maryland we we're going to go back to full timing yes or we were going to we were full timers but we were going to hit the road for good but we ran into some challenges. some challenges. Challenges. challenges we knew all along that we wanted to get another RV. Yes. We wanted to get one that was a little more apt for us to uh, live on the road full time. So we would keep an eye open for anything that was available in the market within a decent price range, something we could work out. And what happened? We found something very quickly, which altered our plans for this fall. We cut a couple weeks short. We couldn't go see some family that we wanted to, and we couldn't go to some places. But at the end of the day, you know what? It worked out fine. We went down to Florida. We just we found an RV that caught our eye. It was through a private seller. Yes. We did not realize that it would take as long as it did to go through this process, unlike going through a dealer. Once we started down that road, we couldn't turn back, so it forced us to cancel the front end of our plans, our trip. We had to cancel those. Yes. But. It, we, we set up the process by which we had to go down to Florida to pick up this RV mm -hmm. and then bring it back to Maryland and get it inspected and go through the whole process, right. which is what we had to do. Which we are trying 
to get this. We just received the paperwork this morning. Um, we need this paperwork to take to the motor vehicles and we had a hard time finding it this morning. They left it here out front, but we couldn't find it and we walked right by it. It was there the entire time. Anyway, I'm waiting for Katrina to get here so we can take the paperwork and get it notarized and then we'll head up to the motor vehicles, get the temp tags, and then uh, we'll be on our way down to Florida to pick up our new to us used RV. So here's hoping everything everything works out. So it's been it's been a not a fiasco, but it has definitely been trying uh, to get everything organized. We had hoped we didn't realize it was going to take this long to do everything to buy an out-of-state RV and to take care of everything from the loan to the paperwork. It's taken longer than what we thought. And, um, you know, we get this taken care of when we get the temporary tags, we could head down to Jacksonville and pick this thing up, then bring it back to Maryland and then get it inspected on Monday so that we can get it to pass state inspection and then uh, put tags on it so we could head out on our trip. She is screaming now. for you. Here she is now, look. I'm not just screaming for you. I get stuck in your She's RV. She's screaming for me. She's all... Yes, yes. Couldn't get out of the door. Yep, door's she's, messed up again. She's, she's all, the door's not messed up. She just doesn't know what she's doing, but we'll figure it out. Temporary tags are secured. We're good to go. So now it is 11.30 on a Friday and we need to get our stuff ready so we can drive down to Jacksonville, Florida to pick up our new rig. And it's about a 12 hour drive. And on a Friday leaving Maryland. Wait, 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 I thought it was 11 hours. Oh, you lied to well, me. No, it's, it's gonna, well, when you take into consideration traffic around the Capitol Beltway, which is always a nightmare, especially on a Friday afternoon, evening. So it'll probably take at least 12 hours to get down there. And uh, so we'll be headed out shortly. She is, wow. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, so, as you can see, we got that taken care of. Yes. Right. So now, the next thing is, we're going to hit the road, take this trip out west, meet up with our daughter, Casey, who lives out in Colorado, and we're gonna do a few things. Eventually, 
we're gonna work our way back to Maryland, tie up some loose ends, and then it's on the road. Full Once, time, full full time. Full full time. Yes. Once we get on the road, we're just gonna wing it. We don't know exactly where we're gonna no go. No idea. What yep. we're gonna do. Nope. We don't, we know, there's more that we don't know than what we do know. So we're just going to figure this thing out as we go along. We've been inspired by so many others, and we're just going to try to, we're going to make this work. We're going to go out there and we're gonna, just going to do this. That we're going to do. Right. Tell them the name. What's our the, Everyday the, Getaway. Our Everyday Getaway. What's the thought process behind the name? It's our Everyday Getaway. It's what we use to travel to get away every day. Every day. This is what allows us to live this lifestyle, yes. to um, go Enjoy. on this trip, this adventure, yeah. this journey, and we're, we feel fortunate and blessed. Very Your fortunate. everyday getaway may be something different, probably is something different. Mm -hmm. It's what you choose to use, whether it's a, a, a travel trailer or a class A or a class C, whatever. This is your everyday getaway, which you can use to get away every day if you choose to. You may get away for a weekend, you may get away for a couple weeks. Yes. This is what we're going to do, and this is our everyday getaway. This it is. is it, right here. This is it. Yeah. yeah. So, we want you guys to come along with us. We want you guys to give us some advice, help us out, and uh, see how things go, see how things work out. Good, bad, or indifferent, we're going to show you it, we're going to uh, learn from it, and we're going to learn from you guys, if you guys are willing to come along, if you are. Come on, let's, let's see go. this. Let's see what happens. Let's do you know, it. we're gonna figure this things out, and uh, at some point, she's going to. Actually, it's gonna be more like this. More see? Like it's, it's usually like, like this. See, ah, it's usually like that. That's how it usually works. Absolutely. Because I have that effect on her. But anyway, yeah. so let's do this, right? Let's go. So let's do it. we'd like you guys to come along with us. We'd like you guys to to subscribe to the channel. We would like you guys to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> we would like it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave a comment below. Hit the bell, the notification button. Come along with us. Help us out. And don't forget, every day you can get away is a good day. It's a great day. It's a good day. Bye, guys. Bye.